Good morning, this is Jordan and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the fashions of Marie Antoinette. This quote here doesn't quite do justice to the fact that Marie was rather obsessed with clothing and fashion. What were the features of clothing that Marie was so fond of? Well, let's take a closer look. Let us examine one of the gowns that was owned by Marie Antoinette, one of the few that still exist today. If you look at the silhouette of this gown, you might notice that it doesn't appear to be very similar to pictures and movies that we've seen of Marie's clothing. That is because this particular gown was owned by at least two different women and was altered after Marie had worn it. You can see in this gown that there is a great deal of lovely embroidery. And when we take a closer look at the embroidery, you can notice that there are both floral and vine motifs. Images from nature were incredibly popular in embroidery of this time. And in addition to flowers and vines, you might also see wildlife such as birds and even insects. Other features of clothing during this time included panniers, the side hoops which give the impossibly wide hip silhouette, as well as elbow length sleeves and very low set decollage. Gowns during this time were also highly decorated, including elements such as lace and bows in addition to beautiful needlework. How were these lovely designs created? They certainly didn't have a Bernina embroidery machine. Embroidery during the early part of the 18th century largely resembled that of the 17th century. One popular technique was called stump work, in which the stitches were more three-dimensional. They were sometimes stuffed with wool or cotton in order to create a textured embroidery. As the 18th century progressed, embroidery slowly became much more reminiscent of painting and not quite so three-dimensional. Furniture during this time was frequently embroidered using cross-stitch, whereas clothing was generally embroidered using contrasting silk in both long and short stitches, which you can observe in the image here. Here we can see the train of this gown in all its splendor. So how will I create a design that is reminiscent of beautiful 18th century embroidery? Let's take a look. So what is my plan to create this beautiful design? First off, I'm going to need to dye my fabric, both a section of green and a smaller section of peach. I will then airbrush the larger design elements using a stencil. Next, I will hand paint the fine details. Finally, I will cut and sew my fabric and assemble my purse. My inspiration for this piece is the work of Belgian artist Isabelle de Borchgrau. She creates incredible beautiful garments and accessories using only paper and paint. While I could not find her source material for the purse on the previous slide, I like to think that it could have been designed to go with one of these gowns, which are entirely made of paper. Here are my references. Thank you so much for your attention and have a lovely rest of your day.